Oh, this you will only see here on Denver 7. We finally catch up to the woman linked to Signature Gate. She's the signature collector who turned in petitions with forged signatures for Republican Senate candidate John Kaiser. Um, clearly not interested in talking with Denver 7. It doesn't look like it. Political reporter Marshall Zellinger broke this story three weeks ago about voters, who, voters whose names appear on a petition for Kaiser. Marshall, you finally caught up with her today, as we saw. But Mari Moss didn't give you any answers on how that happened. Now, she was pretty clear with her no comments. Our interaction lasted 42 seconds and happened outside the business that recently fired her for turning in petitions that had forged signatures. Hi, Maureen. Hi, I have nothing to say to you. Have a great day. Before I even said hi, Maureen Moss knew who I was. Then again, we've been showing you her signature for two weeks, comparing it to signatures on these petitions she turned in for John Kaiser. 13 signatures, which the voters themselves told us are forged. I just want to get a, a clarification. Did you know you turned in you forged signatures? You can get signatures? the clarification that I have no comments. Did anybody... Have a great day before I call the police and we can have the harassment charge me. Did you, did you turn in forged signatures I on your own? Moss was at her former employer, a signature gathering company, which previously fired her as a result of our forged signature investigation. Investigators with the DA's office tried asking her questions about these petitions just before I did, and they also got no answers. Were you told to do this at all? My van. You're not allowed by my van. Did anybody tell you to do anything like this? Yourself. Just like I wanted to, investigators still want to talk with Maureen to determine how forged signatures ended up on her petitions and to figure out if a crime was committed. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.